for math. And in math today, we will be able to count within 1,000, skip counting by fives, tens, and hundreds. And our essential question is, what are the patterns of numbers when we count by fives, tens, and hundreds? So be thinking about that during the lesson. Now, remember when we're skip counting by fives, who remembers a pattern that we talked about on Monday? Kimberly? That, um, um, there it goes five, zero, five, zero. Ah, it goes. What goes five, zero, five, zero? What place? The ones. The ones place changes from five to zero, five to zero. Very good. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Hmm, skip counting by tens. If we skip count by tens, which place value is always going to change? Kailash? The tens place. The tens place. And what about if we skip count by 100? Which place value is always going to change, Wendelin? The hundreds place. Excellent job. So let's look at our mini lesson for today. Let's see here. Let me get this a little bit larger. And... Looks like I have a word problem here. So when we have a word problem, boys and girls, what should we do first? Read the whole problem. Read the whole problem. One, two, everybody read. Brandon skip counting by 100. He counts 113, 213, 313. What number will he say next? What's our next step, boys and girls? Underline the question. Okay. Have we already done this? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Thursday. Thank you, Joshua. Okay. I need to make this a little bit lighter then. What is five more after 45? 
50. 50. Excellent. So let's see what matches what's in our boxes. Now, should is he going to say 35? No. So we can cross that out because it's not in a box, is it? Okay, so is it A? No. No, A does not match what's in our boxes. Is it B? Yes. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Is it C? No. No, it does not match what's in the box. So circle the best answer last. Very good. Okay, let's try one more. What's the first step when solving a math word problem? Read the One, two, everybody read. Kevin has 370 toy cars. Brent has 10 more toy cars than Kevin. How many toy cars does Brent have? What is the next step? I What is the question? How many toy cars does Brent have? And let's turn that into the beginning of our answer. What should I say? I think everybody answered, but Evelyn, can you tell me what should I write to turn my answer, the beginning of my answer? Brent has blank cars. I love it. And a period at the end. Now let's go back and read keywords and numbers. One, two, read the first sentence. Kevin has 317 toy cars. Okay, so what should I underline? 317 toy cars. And then make Kevin. it Kevin. Yeah. Okay, so what should I write for that sentence? 317. And then maybe I can write TC for toy cars. Okay, next sentence. What does it say? Brand has 10 more toy cars than Kevin. Okay, what should I underline? 10 more and Brent. 10 more and Brent. Okay. Toy cars than Kevin. Toy cars than Kevin. Okay, and I need to put Kevin here somewhere. Okay, so Brent has 10 more toy cars. So let's see. I can make a box and I can put plus 10 there. That's one strategy. So where would I look here if he has 10 more? What place value would I look in, Joshua? The tens place because I'm counting by ten. excellence. So what is 10 more than one tens one. class? Two. Two. two tens. Very good. So 300 what? 27 is how many cars who has? Brent. Brent. Very good. Now we can solve this another way too. How else can I solve this? Place value strategy. I could say 300 or I could write 317 plus 10 more. What are my first two Three numbers? 300 plus 000, zero, zero, zero equals 300. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 7 plus 0 equals 7. 300 plus 20 plus 7 equals 327. Excellent. Now, you all are really getting good at that place value strategy. Let's see another strategy. Oh, I could draw it out. I could draw the base 10 blocks. So I could draw 317. Help me count. 100, 200, 300. How many tens? One. One ten. How many ones? Seven. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if Brent has ten more, I can add another tens rod there. Count all of my base ten blocks. And then I would have what? Three hundred twenty seven. And then there's the number line strategy. Okay, 317. And I can draw a number line and make a tens jump. Okay, 317 will turn into 327. Very good, where the tens place number is the only number that changes. Great job. All right, thank you for watching me model how to do these problems. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. So let's see, what do we have here? Here are our groups today. Group one, you will be meeting with me first. Group two, you'll be meeting with me second. Group three, when we rotate and you're finished, you go to Fast Math, okay? And I will let you know when I need to check your papers. So at this time, Leandro, can you turn the lights back on? And group one, Serena will meet.